All right, then. So today I'm going to be talking about how TCI works with Schoology. Um, if you joined the pre-summit session that we had uh, in July, then a lot of this content is going to look familiar, um, but there will be a couple of new pieces of content in today's session. Um, so just a little bit of housekeeping when we get started here. Um, for questions, you can use a chat. You could also use the Q&A. Um, actually, Q&A is probably better. So Q&A or chat would be good for questions. Um, if you are going to chat, um, go ahead and change who you're sending the chat to, to everyone, just so that um, you know everyone can see what you're saying. It's a little funner to have other people's messages come through. And then finally, if you uh, wanted to turn on some closed captioning options, you can do that with the live transcript uh, tool. All right. So um, in terms of Schoology, um, there's a lot of different ways that we hear, we've heard teachers using Schoology. Um, they may use it just to log into TCI, just to uh, share assignments, get students to the right place. And sometimes they'll even use Schoology for grade syncing. So today I'm going to cover the whole gauntlet of, uh, of uh, use cases. Um, from just signing in to assigning to actually getting grades to sync from TCI to Schoology. Um, so first, we're going to watch a video uh, of a teacher uh, trying to give their use case for what they are trying to do in Schoology with TCI. And that will, that'll tell us a little bit about why you might want to use Schoology with TCI. Then I'll get into how you can create assignments directly inside of Schoology for different pieces of TCI content, and then finally uh, assessments. Uh, and then we'll see how you can get that syncing between the two systems. Finally, um, I'll talk about briefly how you can get any page in TCI to show in Schoology, even if it's not a page that you're assigning. Okay, let's get started. So here we have a video, and it's gonna be a two minute video. Hi there. Um, I have a question I'm hoping it's actually a kind of a three part question. I'm hoping you can help me with today. I'm using your your history alive, the United States through industrialism program with my eighth grade students. And um, I'm in the program and I'm, I'm looking at the text here. And um, I love the fact that the text is online and I see that there is um, a, like an activity and then some notes that the students are supposed to take. Um, underneath that reading that it goes with that. Um, we actually use Schoology here in my district as our learning management system. And I'm trying to figure out how I can get this assignment, this, this, these notes that the students are taking here, as well as the reading um, into my Schoology account. Um, that's kind of the first part. And then the, the, my next two questions are kind of related to that. Um, thinking ahead to when I'm done with this, um, this, this reading and this, this lesson, I'm looking at your assessments here and I see that you have um, some pre-made assessments already that I can, that I can use. Um, I would like that to be able to be um, accessible to my students in Schoology as well. So I don't know if there's a way that I can, that I can get these assessment questions into Schoology, but I need help with that. And then my final question, which is also related to Schoology, is I was looking at my lesson plans and I absolutely love under classroom activity, these slides that you have um, really gives the students a, a visual representation of what we're doing and it allows me to model things that I want them to do or to think about. But from time to time I have students that are absent or maybe they just need to have access this, to this again. So is there a way that I can share these slides with my students and if so, um, can I share it in Schoology? So um, thank you for your time and I appreciate um, your help. All right, so let's see if we can help Mr. Mormon here. Um, just to give a quick overview of some of the content TCI has, um, we have lesson games, um, reading, student text, handouts, lesson slides, um, a lot more content than you probably will end up using, but um, all of these things work great inside of Schoology. Um, so today, like I mentioned, I'll highlight a few things based on the use case Mr. Mormon mentioned. 
Uh, I'll highlight reading, slides, uh, and generally assignments. Um, we'll look at a, a lesson game as well. So let's go live. Um, here I have the Schoology website. I'm already logged in and I all I did was I went to one of my courses. So a prerequisite of using this integration is that your district admin on the IT side will have to set up something called LTI. And once they do that, once you get into any course, like I'm in uh, the Schoology integration demo course right now, uh, there will be an option of teach TCI when you're adding materials. So that's when you know the integration is set up. Um, once you have that set up, then there's a couple of things you could do. If you wanted to stop at the first use case I mentioned at the beginning of logging in, you'll have the login on the side here for Teach TCI, and all you all you have to do is click on it, and then once you launch the app, you'll get taken directly to uh, TCI in a new window. You won't need to sign in again as long as you're already signed into Schoology and clicking on this button. Now, if you want to move on into the assignment side of things, um, that's where you'll use the tool here when you're adding a material. So you click on TC Teach TCI, and a window will pop up with an option to choose which program you want to create an assignment from. If you have many programs, many classes, you'll, you'll see more options here. Um, right now, I only have one program, US History. And then so from here, it's actually very straightforward. You choose which piece of content you want to assign. So let's say I want to assign lesson one and I want to assign the lesson game or let's, let's go with the reading for now. Let's say I want to assign sections one and two. Once I do that, um, the assignment is created inside of Schoology and you can stop here if all you care about is creating links for students to access the resource. So if I were to click on this link, you'll see that you're taking directly to section one. Um, and then you or the student can expand this and then just directly inside of Schoology um, interact with the TCI website. Now, if you wanted to set this up for grading, you'll have to take one more step. You'll need to edit the assignment, enable it for grading, and then fill out the information down here as you would any other assignment that you're grading. In this example, I'll use uh, the category I created for reading and notes. And with that, this is set up for grade syncing now. Um, in order for the grade syncing to work, you do need the student to access the assignment through this link. So the grade sync will not work if you created this assignment through this integration and the student for some reason goes directly into TCI, not through this Schoology link, and they just go to like the sign in page and, and log in. If they complete their work from there, you'll still get all of the information that you would have in TCI, but what I'm about to show you for syncing the grade, it won't actually get over to Schoology because without clicking on that link, we don't know where to send the grade. So that's very important. The student would need to access the assignment um, through the Schoology assignment link in order for the grade syncing to work. So um, here I created that assignment. Um, I'm gonna go over into a different window um, and access um, the Schoology window um, from a student's point of view. So here I have a different window. I'm signed in as a student. Let me go into this course and you'll see that the new assignment I created is there. So I can click on this and then I'll get taken directly to the reading in this example. Um, and I can make it bigger and interact with it. Um, I'll see that it's been assigned and I can complete the work here. So let's just say, um, you know, because it's cool. Um, so once I do that, the work will save as it does normally. I could turn this in and then um, that's kind of what you would need to do on the student side. 
Now let's let's go back to the the teacher side and see what else we need to do there. So you won't see any updated work from the Schoology side, but if you were to click on that link to get to the assignment, this is a quick way to get to the grading area. You can click on the grade shortcut here. Um, you'll see that the student, my student here, updated work. And I actually in the past have already graded it, um, but I'm going to update the grade now so that I can show the 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 assignment the the syncing of grades. So anytime a student has access to the assignment that you created through the integration, you'll start to see a sync grades button in the grades page. Um, that's because there is at least one place to send grades for. So I have this grade here for this student. Let me go into the grade book, make sure I'm looking at the assignment that I created. I think it is this one here, reading and notes, lesson one, section one, that's right. So this is the, the place that we're expecting the grade to come in. So I press on sync grades and you'll notice that the max score of this notebook for the lesson, I have it set as five. So three out of five, we're going to normalize that. And whatever score you gave the assignment in Schoology, it'll it'll come over as a you know proportion of that. So three out of five, that's 60 out of 100. And so you'll see the grade come in here. Um, if you had a full class, you just have to click on that button once, and then all the grades will come in, assuming that they access the assignment through Schoology. So that's actually the whole integration. Um, you can kind of see how useful it'll be in saving you time. What I'm going to go into next is um, kind of giving an overview of the different assignments you can make. Um, and then I'll get into sharing the slides or any other web page for that matter. But at this point, I'd like to take a break and see if there are any questions. Um, so if you have a question, Feel free to answer, ask it right now. Um, I don't see any uh, that have come in yet so far. Okay, looks like uh, we're good for now. You can still ask later, but I'm gonna move on into um, creating other assignment types now. All right, so let's take a look at this little window that comes up. When you are assigning something for the lesson, you'll see reading, lesson game, and assessments. So lesson game, there's only one per lesson. Um, that's, you know, uh, hopefully that's pretty familiar with you. I could just create the assignment now so we kind of get an idea of what it looks like. Um, here's the lesson game for lesson one. Um, and it's the same, same situation. The student accesses the assignment, completes it. You go to the grades page and you press sync grades. Now um, let's take a look at assessment. So for the lesson, you can create as many assessments as you'd like. Um, if you don't have one, then you're going to see some information about creating one. And once you create one, you could select from here and then do the same thing. It's exactly the same process. Student completes the work, you press sync grades. Um, the last piece of content uh, that you can assign is unit projects. So this will, this may depend on which program you have, but I believe most teachers will have unit projects in their program. Um, and the way that that works is you can click on, so if you have, you started from nothing or you started at the lesson, you can click on the unit, any unit, and then you'll find unit projects as an option. In this particular program, there are four unit projects in each unit, and they cover um, different aspects of um, social studies. So I can assign all four of these or just one of them. Um, in this case, I'll assign the inquiry project, and you'll see how to get there or what, what it looks like when I click in here. Um, but once again, it's a very similar process. The student comes here, they finish their work, um, turn in their work, 
and you go to grades, grade it, and then press in grades. So um, all of the different assignment types are very similar in terms of the process you would take in order to uh, create the assignment, um, set it up for um, grading, and then finally uh, grade the work um, after your student completes it. Um, with that, that's actually all the assignment types that you can use in this integration. Um, it should cover mo uh, most of your use cases. The last thing that Mr. Mormon mentioned was slides. So the best way that at the moment, we're making improvements so that you can actually just assign slides through the same window. But at the moment, the best way to get those slides to your student if you want it to go through Schoology, is you'll have to go into TCI. So I can click on any of these links and navigate from there, or I can um, just uh, don't believe you see the window that comes up. So actually, I'll, I'll actually go in from one of these uh, one of these links here. So I would navigate to where I would find the slides. So in this case, I know that this classroom activity slideshow is something that I want to share with my students. Um, what I would do actually is copy the link. So you can open it, copy the link from the browser. I just use a shortcut to copy the link. What this is going to give me is it's gonna copy the link to the slideshow, the present mode, which is what students would see. Um, it would put that on my clipboard so I can paste it in somewhere else. So from here, I'm gonna go back to materials add a material. And at this point, I can just add it as a regular link. Um, so let's paste this link in here. Let's call it lesson one slideshow, or let's say class activity slides. And I have some other options. Um, I'm going to have it display in Schoology as opposed to a new window. And here it is. So what would the students see? Uh, let's take a look. Back in my other window here, um, as a student, let's go to materials, click on the slide link, and um, here is a slideshow directly inside of Schoology. And then I can still interact with it, do whatever I would like to do as a student. And um, they can even, you know, for this particular program, they can even answer questions um, directly in here. So that is the only other use case I can imagine. If you're trying to take any single, any slot, any page, honestly, you can just copy the link and do the same thing I did for the slides. And that'll be a way to get students directly to a piece of content um, without having to leave Schoology. Um, so that is the integration. Um, I will go into next a couple of common issues that come up. Um, but before I do that, I'll take another break for questions. Um, so if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them now. Okay. All right. So uh, let's look at some common issues. So the school year started. Um, already for some districts, and we have uh, a good number of teachers using this integration. And so we already have a couple of um, frequently uh, asked questions and issues. So I'm going to cover a few of them uh, just in case it applies to your situation. Um, the first issue could be that you don't see this as an option. And I mentioned it as a beginning at the beginning in order for you to see Teach TCI as an option here, an admin needs to do some setup. So um, I'll, I'll cover this again later, but a great resource is our Help Center. If you want to have that Teach TCI material option and you don't, um, you can send this link over to your admin or whoever would be responsible for setting Schoology up. Um, but you can go to the help center, click on learning management systems, click on Schoology, and you'll be taken to this page that has instructions for setting up. So that's going to be 
uh, the solution to that first common issue. You just don't have access to the tool. Um, the second common issue is I'm actually going to open up a Help Center article to, to look at the issue. This is another common issue, is you see a gray screen instead of the actual TCI website in Schoology or Canvas. I have a uh, Canvas as the uh, screenshot here, but the gray screen is the same. Um, what has happening, uh, what's happening here is that in order to show TCI in Schoology, you actually need to give TCI the URL that you're using for Schoology, the, the domain at the top because sometimes you might have a district specific um, URL and we need to whitelist uh, that URL in order to show our website in your, uh, in your Schoology account. Um, so that's the solution for the gray screen is to send um, the URL you're using for your Schoology uh, account to info at teach TCI. So again, this is in the help center. So uh, if you forget, just, just go help center. You should be fine. Um, the last uh, common issue I'm going to cover is you have the assignment set up. Students are able to get there, but grades aren't syncing. Um, you might not see the sync grades button. You might see it and it doesn't come over. So if you see the sync grades button and the grades aren't syncing, um, most likely the student didn't access the assignment through the assignment link. So you'll, you'll just want to um, remind your students to do that. If you don't see the sync grades button from the grades page, um, typically what that means is that you haven't set up the assignment to enable grading. And you'll know that easily if you go to the grade book and you just won't see a column associated to that assignment you have. If you don't see the column, that's because you didn't enable it for grading and therefore um, you won't get grade syncing over. So those are the two most common you know, issues within this common issue of grades not syncing. Um, but otherwise, uh, we, we've heard good feedback so far about it being a pretty smooth integration. Um, the help center I mentioned, the easiest way to get there again is to go to help.teachtci.com. Um, one other way to get there is if you are inside uh, TCI, your, your account, you can also see it in this question mark up here for support. You click on that, click on help, and then that'll take you to the help center as well. Um, it has a lot of good resources in order to um, use TCI, including learning management system resources. Um, okay. And with that, we actually finished pretty early today. So do, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them now. Um, otherwise, I'll let you guys go. Any questions? Okay, well, that's great. It sounds like it's pretty simple. Um, we'll just end here. Thanks everyone for attending. Um, if you do have any questions later on, feel free to email us at info at teachtci.com. Um, we respond to those pretty quickly. Uh, otherwise, have a great school year. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.